We're going to redo stream number 64 of Dungeons & Dragons Online because my one attempt to stream uh, Dungeon Keeper messed up my Twitch studio somehow and it kept streaming it as a just a black screen every time I'd go back to DDO I would get nothing so I'm checking this time I'm alt tabbing over to the yeah I'm still it's still streaming okay I want to make absolutely certain that the result uh, is a clean stream of the game as we run through the bushes <laughs> Somebody uh, sent me a chat at the very end, just as I was getting ready to log off, saying, By the way, you do know your stream was nothing but a black screen this whole time. And I went, Oh? Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought, Gee, well, that's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> so I basically deleted the whole last stream where I was just uh, going through the uh, Threnal quests. Alright, let's put the uh, NPC Cleric on active. What happened was, I had alt-tabbed over to try to fix the, uh, the game, and while I was alt-tabbed, I got aggroed by a bunch of enemies, <coughs> and I got slaughtered, and there was only one minute left on my cleric, and I had been streaming for a number of hours, and I thought, you know, it's time to call it a night. I thought I'd come back, refreshed, the next day. Turns out I uh, yesterday I accidentally went to work. Uh, well, actually, I deliberately went to work. I just didn't realize that it was a, a holiday, and I should have had the day off. I was wondering why there was no one else uh, coming in. So I volunteered to take off uh, the rest of today to make up for the fact that I worked uh, too much yesterday when I should have had the day off. So... So this is my day late holiday stream. I called in a locksmith to work on my front door. My place is a terrible mess. But I do need to be able to lock my front door when I leave the house, so... <coughs> it would be a, a sad sight indeed if I came home and my, uh, my home was ransacked by rogues who would, like, steal my computer or something because I couldn't lock my front door. put an, an end to my streaming for quite a while because I would have to save up and get a new computer. Um, but he should be in sometime today to work on my front door. be an enemy up there. Sure. 
Elementals. Hand, the mighty barbarian. <coughs> All right. Take that. And that, and a little bit of that, jerks. talked to him, it should have spawned a bunch of enemies in the hallway, and we need to clear each section before we have him follow us. All right, we'll put you here. Go and fetch the uh, the 
dwarf. Come back here, dwarf. At least this time, the stream appears to be working. It's not just a black screen. I guess I, I've learned my lesson. From now on, I won't try to stream old-style games like uh, Dungeon Keeper. Because apparently, the Twitch studio does not like them. You get back to the, uh, to the other games you want to play, and it doesn't show the, uh, the game on the stream. <laughs> And on top of that, uh, in Dungeon Keeper, it doesn't show the, uh, the Twitch overlay, so you can't see the chat or anything while you're in the game. So I still sometimes can't see the chat when I'm in the game, but that's a bug with the Twitch overlay, I think. It, uh, it doesn't always work properly. Okay, Chief Engineer, you stay right here. Well, we clear the spiral. corner here. Okay, cleric, you stay here. I will fetch the dwarf. first time I tried this, he ended up dying because I got a little bit too carried away and thought, I can get through a fight or two with the dwarf following me and not have him get killed. Nope. <laughs> he ran in all by himself when I wasn't quite ready for the fight and got himself moiterized. <laughs> and I thought to myself, why did I let him <laughs> follow me into this area? Okay. Let's get our cleric with us again. <coughs> Make sure the engineer is following. There he is. go ahead a bit so that we can bite stuff before he gets here. We want to make sure he doesn't grab aggro. Yeah, you wait here, little dwarf. While I clear out these guys. Clear these guys. <sighs> Looks like we got a clear shot to the exit. All I have to do is go back and grab the dwarf and just lead him to the exit.
What the? How dare you? Suddenly spawn on us back there. Maybe he was off in that side tunnel and I just didn't uh, spot him. Come on, dwarf. Are you with us? Okay. Just come on with us to the exit. That would have that was a close one. Uh, that demon probably could have one shotted them. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Stream still streaming. Okay, excellent. No black screen issue like there was yesterday. So in the, uh, okay, secure the area. Clear all these flesh renders. Exterminator 2. Deed completed. And we always like it when we earn DDO store points. That's how we get new content. everything as we go, all the flesh renders, because nothing more annoying than getting to the very end and going, oh, you missed one somewhere.
those locked gems and jewels. Looks like my friend wants to watch some Babylon 5 tonight. I got, so I got some time though. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go this way first and make sure there's no more lurking about in the other rooms here. Of course there are. Chipped bone talisman, I bet. Nope, Blade of the Dark Six. Okay, that must have dropped off the Flesh Reavers rather than the Gargoyles. Gargoyles usually drop a chipped bone talisman. Break everything. We must break everything. We are a barbarian. Barbarian smash. Let me check the stream, make sure that it's still streaming. I'm real paranoid about that now, because... When you've accidentally streamed a black screen for four hours, you start to worry. That you're that nothing is going out over the stream. I'm not sure if that was a problem with the uh, Twitch studio or just an issue with the, the settings on the computer that were interfering with it. I don't know. All I know is that it was working just fine until that one day when I tried to stream Dungeon Keeper and ended up uh, aborting that because I couldn't get the overlay to show up while I was playing. Hey there, yeah, yeah, DDO streaming. We are streaming DDO on Dungeons and Dragons Online. <coughs> and at least it's not uh, doing what it did yesterday and streaming a completely black screen. <laughs> Oh, I just ran over the fire. That's uh, <laughs> a dentist. Oh, you're in you're in lurker mode, huh? Engage the lurking device. Sounds like a Romulan. You're lurking. <laughs> or a rogue, I suppose. The rogue might be more appropriate for a DDO, right? <laughs> Looking around. Dentists. Everybody's favorite place to go, right? <laughs> Nothing like having someone else's hand in your mouth for a couple of hours. Well, they, uh, they drill holes in your teeth and 
<clears throat> try to engage you in conversation at the same time. Why do dentists do that? It's like, sure, ask me a question. <laughs> do you really want me to try to answer while you've got your hand in my mouth? <clears throat> Yeah, you know, unlike my monk, my barbarian can actually cut a uh, a gargoyle down to size. Well, it's in that uh, hiding mode. Let's see. Open this one. This is one of the Thranal uh, quests. This is the uh, Western Ruins. Um, Thranal is a bit of a niche thing. Um, I mean, if you want to get the uh, the upgradable Thranal dagger and run through the arena, you can get uh, a sword or a dagger that's fairly decent at the le at level. If you haven't out-leveled it by the time you get done with Thranal, though. Plus, um, the end reward for the quest arc is the uh, Mantle of the World Shaper, which is a special cape that gives you one point uh, regeneration. It's kind of slow regeneration, but it is the equivalent of an auto-stabilize. I mean, one point of magical healing is enough to stabilize you when you're, when you're at... Uh, you're down on the ground going, I'm bleeding to death, I'm bleeding to death. Oh, one point of magical healing, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it comes from this these quest lines because they're narrated by Dave Arneson, the man who wrote the first um, campaign book for Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, yeah, it has a, it has a, uh, what is it, five point, uh, You know, spell absorb capability. The real reason to wear it, of course, is the regeneration. You know, you have the ability to not die when you fall down uh, through bleeding is a good thing. Um, and in combination with the uh, voice of the master, which, by the way, the picture for it is a D20 with a 20 on every side. Oh, Ring of Trolls regeneration, huh? I've never... that must be a new thing. That must be from, like, the Isle of Dread or something. Uh, um, Red Willow Ruins. Yeah, I don't have that uh, content either. I stopped playing for a couple of years. Eventually, you get do get burned out on the game. It's just, you, know, you got to wait until your enthusiasm is back up before you jump back in. Um, I've still got my main character, who at one point I had said to myself, you know, I'm going to get that completionist achievement on this character. Because plus four to all stats is nice. House Jurasco, Red Willow Ruins. Oh, I'll have to, I have to go. I have to go to House J and look around. And uh, of course, you'll probably be in the dentist by the time I finish this quest. So, <laughs> um, yeah, everyone tells themselves that, right? But you got it. And I'm trying to do it free to play too. I'm trying to do it without having to. Uh, to buy anything with real life money. Stop playing for about yeah, it is a 17 year old game, so it takes, a lot. Um, which means of course now and because I'm trying to do it free to play, I have to uh, 
earn DDO store points for anything I want to, any content I want to buy, especially unlocking the classes, because in order to get completionist, you have to level up in all the classes. And they've added a couple of classes. The one I currently don't have is Alchemist. I have all the other classes available to me, but not Alchemist. Of course, the character I want to do completionist on is only uh, about uh, uh, four classes in. She's done, uh, I think, uh, Mage. Um, did I do Sorcerer yet? I don't remember, but I know she did Artificer, Mage, uh, currently working on Rogue, and one other class that I can't remember. Probably Sorcerer. I think it's Sorcerer because the uh, the past life feat for Sorcerer is extra mana. So I've got like 20 mana even when I'm playing a class that doesn't use spells. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, She's currently on Rogue. I had thought that I, uh, I was going to try to move her over to this server, because I'd heard that this server has more streamers playing on it. But I think I'm just going to leave her on Kyber. It, it costs too much to move a character over from one server to the other. So I'm going to have to go back to her at one point and... Um, over on Kyber and remove her uh, equipment, um, or at least enough enough stuff from her backpack that she could can continue her uh, rogue run. Because I had prepared her to be moved between servers, which meant taking everything out of the uh, reincarnation cache. So her backpacks and everything are completely full, and that includes having the. Uh, the black hole, the extra black hole uh, pack too. So I'm gonna have to try to put all of her stuff that I can into the shared uh, bank, transferring things to the other, to my other characters on the server, just to clear up enough backpack space so she can actually do stuff. Because she's currently level 8 rogue. And once I get her up to level 11, she can start putting on her green steel stuff. Because uh, I know I know that green steel has kind of fallen out of favor uh, with the community. They, they think, oh yeah, there's all this better stuff. Yeah, but all that better stuff requires you to be level 20 to even use it. So <laughs> sure there's stuff in the other, other content that... Uh, might be almost comparable. Oh, it is it, for level 11 and 12. It is still the best stuff in the game. Um, there's nothing else that you can use at level 11 or 9 to 11 or, or no 11 to 12. You can use the uh, the non. Uh, oh, you never got high enough to make any. Like level 15, you never been level 15 even yet. Oh, so you're completionist. You're a long way from completionist, then. <laughs> like, yeah, the uh, it takes a bit of time, a bit of time. Well, you're probably like I was when I first got the game, a, a real dabbler. You'll you'll go up to level uh, ten or so in one character, and then go, you know, I'd like to try a, a mage, or I'd like to try a, another class. And <laughs> you start to you start to uh, realize. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, 32 characters and none of them over or up to level 15 yet. <laughs> um, it's uh, somewhat, oh, there's a rune, no wonder. Uh, intelligence is too low. But she can use it. Okay. And it's just a shrine. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is a problem. Yeah, when I do, when I do my completionist, I want to do it. I, I'm already four classes in. 
I've gone to level 20 in four different classes with that character. So I don't want to try to do it on multiple characters. <laughs> I just want to get... Uh, at one point I want to have at least one character that's got Completionist. Because that plus four to all stats is uh, very, very nice. Uh, <laughs> And, of course, it does require a little bit of maintenance as well, since eventually they'll add new classes, and you'll have to do it again. <laughs> yes, oh, the, uh, hold on, the locksmith is here. I have to go talk to him. I will phone him a second. Smith is going to be working on my front door. Get it so I can lock the door when I leave the house. Could be very important, you know. You, you, you might come home and your, your computer and everything has been uh, pilfered by some rogue with a, who didn't even need a lock pick skill to get in, you know. <laughs> All right, let me uh, trash this stuff. Okay, so that's the uh, Red Willow Ruins, huh? I can check that out once I'm done with this uh, quest arc. So you're off to the dentist, huh? You got to go uh, see Dr. Drillum and Fillum, huh? <laughs> Uh, let's see, there should be, there's at least one. There we go, there's the last one. Last flesh render. All right, we cleared this thing. We got our Thornal uh, ceremonial dagger. And once you get one of those things, you can take it to an arena out in the zone. Let me finish out that way. Oh, I I don't think I've done I haven't done any of the veteran characters because uh, um, those cost uh, store points to to get them right. But uh, yeah, so you can't trade it, can't sell it. remind myself that I have to do this again. I will trigger that. Now I need to go talk to the other guy. So you never did the Thranal uh, quests, huh? You're at, they're out of uh, House Fiarlan. There's a guy sitting in a little pavilion that you talk to and he sends you to the ruins of Thranal. Oh, well, you have to start with this guy here. You do, you're smart to come here first. Yeah, they love it. Uh, oh, I think I, uh, I think I goofed. In order to get the, uh, 
Yeah, in order to get this, I have to be completely done with this. I think uh, there has to be a way. Can I just drop the quest? Yeah, abandon that quest. Oh, you can't abandon it. Now I have to go do the whole thing all over again. Oh, well, in any case, you do the east and the west first. And once you're done, now I have to go do this thing all over again. That's annoying. <laughs> um, you have to be completed on both of these and not on either one in order to uh, get the middle uh, excavation. Once you've done all three excavations, so I have to, <sighs> this is annoying. Whoops. Don't want to trash my weapon by, uh... I just want to make sure I do not hit the pudding. <laughs> the NPC kill the puddings. Ruin your weapon, not mine. Let's see, switch to the arrows. I prefer not to trash my weapon. <laughs> um, the nice thing about things like Thranal is it's, a, it's an adventure zone. So you can uh, do the whole thing with one NPC. You don't need to pull out another contract because the NPC follows you through the zone. For a penny pinching guy like me, who doesn't like using uh, too much, uh, in even in game currency, plus it's the time necessary to go back to the marketplace and get another NPC. Kill enough enemies that uh, we won't have to go searching for more once we reach the NPC. Eek. It takes longer to kill him with the bow, but if I swing my axe around those black puddings... It'll break my axe. <laughs> Wonderful. I ended up hitting a black puddings anyway. Because I was blind and could not see them. Okay, let me check my uh, axe and see how damaged it is. Uh, it's about half destroyed. Uh, 
That is the one thing. If I break my weapon, I have to go into a public area to repair it. And going into a public area will get rid of the NPC, and her contract is already done. Done. There is no... I have another contract, but it's for a different NPC. And I don't want to have to reset it. All right, come on. Do, 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 do. I'll just let the cleric fight these things. Okay, quest done. Okay. Hopefully, each of these excavations have three stages. You have to go in three times on all of them. PC stands right over something you want to pick up. <laughs> the weird invisible spider guts just sort of floating there in the air. I'm surprised they haven't fixed that graphical glitch yet. Yeah, and the uh, 
the cave quests, unfortunately, don't give you any favor either. They're just XP. <laughs> the only ones that give you favor are the excavations. As far as I know, that's pretty much the only quests in the whole game that don't give you any XP, is the, the mini uh, giant cave quests in this uh, Thranal expansion. It's like, get XP, but no favor. It's like, you go all the way up to a lead, and then you try to find it on the list, and it's not there. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> and you pull up your patron list, and you go, oh, where is it? It should be right in this level, you know? <laughs> it's not there. But, uh... Um, I'll probably do a lot of stuff on, uh, Sarlona. I, I was told this was the, the main streamer server, but when I go back to do my, uh, achievement, I'm going to have to go back to Kyber because, <laughs> I want to get, uh, the completionist thing, and I've already made four classes worth of progress everyone plays on something different okay well I had been told that the uh, this was the sort of unofficial streamer server kind of but uh, I guess they were incorrect on that account so maybe I'll go back to Kyber soon and uh, just stick around there for a while Whoop. darn jellies darn jellies Annoy me with your weapon destroying acid. I don't think you can even get the. Uh... Hey there, Guaca. You want you on for any amount of time today, or just uh, um, checking in? I know it's the middle of the day. I uh, ordinarily I would be at work. Okay, so it varies. All right. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I was surprised uh, after the disaster that was live action One Piece on Netflix. Oh, you're meeting a couple minutes. Okay, figures. But uh, I normally would be at work today. But I accidentally went, went into work yesterday <laughs> when it was a, uh, I didn't realize it was a holiday. So I'm, uh, in order to save on labor costs at work, I'm, I'm taking today off to compensate that. All right. So, yeah, um, because the, uh, the live action uh, adaptation of uh, Death Note was terrible. I was, uh, at least, um, at least Netflix finally seems to have learned its lesson. If you're going to do an adaptation of an anime, stick to the source material. It's like, these, these manga cause who, who write the original mangas and the, uh, and the, and work, you know, consult on the anime, know what they're doing in the story. Don't, don't deviate. <laughs> as as much as you they did on the you know one piece <coughs> or not one piece the uh, uh, death note yeah well they could the the but have you seen the death note anime I mean compared to the uh, uh, in compared to Netflix the uh, the one you know, the Death Note anime is a masterpiece. I mean, <laughs> they were able to adapt the story to uh, you know, an incredible degree. I mean, it's engaging. It, it covers every beat that was in the uh, um, in the manga, and it's just overall a, 
a great anime. But the live action adaptation on Netflix, not so much. I would go so far as to refer to it as canine excrement. It is dog shit. It <laughs> I mean, the one thing was getting Defoe to play Ryuk was a perfect bit of casting. He, he ate the scenery just like you, you would expect Ryuk to. He stole every single scene he was in. They could have saved that movie with one line. All they had to do was have Ryuk at some point say, You know, I once gave the death note to a boy named Light in Japan and things got interesting. I thought maybe if I gave it to a boy named Light again, things would get interesting again. So far, I'm not impressed. <laughs> have him say that just after Light Turner has his little freak out uh, upon first seeing Ryuk. Because in the, in the Death Note anime, when he first sees Ryuk, sure, he's, he's, he seems startled. He even falls out of his chair. But he doesn't freak out and run screaming. He says, oh, I was expecting someone like you. <laughs> and uh, it's like, like totally different characters. Uh, Light Turner from the, uh, the movie is not Light Yagami from the anime or the manga. <laughs> Oh, well, good luck at the dentist. Uh, hopefully he'll, uh, he won't have his uh, hands too far down your throat trying to fix things. <laughs> Talk to you later. All righty. Uh, and you're only here for a little while, eh, Gra guacamole? I've got a... Uh, a locksmith working on my front door. You probably hear him puttering around in the background. Um, okay, I'm going to tell the engineer to stay here. Dum dum. While I clear the next bit here. Yeah, the, uh, well, I'm overall, I, I enjoyed, uh, the, uh, adaptation of One Piece so far. I've, I've watched the whole first season. They did a good job with the East Blue. <coughs> I mean, they did had to leave some things out, because even the East Blue saga has, uh, a lot of complex stuff going on. They did a good job compressing it down into eight episodes, introducing most of the, uh, the same uh, good guys and bad guys. Hey, we got to see Buggy. <laughs> I mean, like, De like Defoe as Ryuk, Buggy kind of steals the show for the scenes he's on the screen. You're paying attention to Buggy. He's, he's an amazing uh, villain. the clown. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, they, they pretty much covered the East, the East Blue. They're ready for the Grand Line next season. Though I doubt very much they're going to get very far in the, in the Grand Line in one season. To do the to do justice to everything that was in the Grand Line, or at least uh, all the major uh, things, they they're going to need at least two seasons. 
because they have and they have to get up to the point where uh, buggy learns how to use hockey too so there's some there's some places where the, the CGI looks a little cartoony but then I mean Luffy is by nature a cartoony character <laughs> You really can't do all of the stretching stuff that he does without a little bit of CGI for sure. Alright. Gotta keep an eye on the uh, locksmith who's working on my door and see if he's almost finished. I don't know. Alright, uh, dwarf, stay here. He's still, uh... <laughs> Clear these guys out so they don't hit the uh, the dwarf from the side as we go through. like the uh, cleric is just about out of cleric juice. Let me get the uh, dwarf up to that intersection. Follow me. That way hopefully he'll be past anything that might respawn while we're trying to get to the shrine. Okay. How's it looking? Uh, works. works. Okay. Almost pretty much. All right. All righty. Let me grab my. Uh, finish this combat here. Uh, all right, I'm going to go pay the man. Pay the man. Oh, 
just a single bullet into the door, and it was unlocked. Did you see Bob? Are you going to ignore? She was, you would not be the one to replace the door. successfully lock my front door when I leave the house, which is somewhat important. Wouldn't want some sneaky rogue coming by and taking my computer. Litter picked up here. Come on. All right. And I got one more stage to go through. Ooh, I have to use the bathroom now. <laughs> when you stand up, you realize when you have to go to the bathroom. I will be right back. <sighs> Figured, uh, since you probably wouldn't be able to stick around long enough to do anything with me today, I would spend some time getting the uh, mantle of the world shaper on my barbarian. So, oh, I guess Guaca had to log off, so... He is no longer on the viewer list. So I'm gonna get back to this. I need to do this one more time on hard. And then I can go get the central uh, excavation started. get it just on the right pixel there to pick that up <laughs> and it was only four okay we need to get all you flesh renderers
sure there's no more flesh renders hiding down these tunnels. Eric just isn't up to mass battles. I have to take him back to the shrine. At least there is a shrine early in this dungeon. Hey, uh, Lerithor, you thought about healing yourself occasionally? You know, you got these healing spells. Take that, you vile flesh rendering flesh renderer. All right, let me uh, have trouble with my headset cord. It's strung over my keyboard and getting in the way of my fingers. What are you running away for? Silly flesh render. Er. I'll rend your flesh, chop you into sushi, I will. Well, I guess that doesn't make a lot of sense. He's not a fish. And sashimi is the uh, rare raw fish, right? Sushi is typically cooked. Things like... Drawing healing aggro, huh? Dream boys got a song. P 
paint your wagon and come along. <coughs> I'd love the guys who wrote the uh, Simpsons parody of Paint Your Wagon, who obviously had no idea what Paint Your Wagon was like. Mostly just making fun of how uh, the, apparently they didn't know Clint Eastwood could sing. But when you're in a musical, you, you gotta know how to sing, right? <laughs> and everything we can break here. <laughs> Time to move on to other places where we can break things. <coughs> Nothing breakable in here? Nope.
then. Dead bodies will despawn by the time I have to go back through there. Come on, let me click on the stupid thing. Adventuring, it's all about the loot. Loot, 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 all this loot, tons of loot. Lots of stuff whose present ownership is moot. We need Swedes and Norse and Danes who will part some English things with the broadsword from their loo 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 loot. Hey, Thor and Odin aid us to the loo loo loot. here to collect my Dane Geld. No Dane Geld? Well then you're in trouble. the uh, the mysterious remnants mysteriously vanished oh well
backsides of any of these pillars. Nope. Nope. Nobody. Nope. Okay. Always good to double check. Why, hello there, large earth elemental. Chop, chop. last time and right now you could use a shrine Bone talisman. There we go. And here's our lever. What we want is ransack. Need more breakables. Must have missed some somewhere.
Why I would want to trigger those, I don't know, but there was a lever to trigger them nonetheless. Okay, we now have exclusive. We can only carry one at a time. Okay, so we can't upgrade both of them. We can only upgrade one of them. Actually, if we hurry, I want to see if I can manage this. If I run up to the... Uh, I don't want to. I'll try not to finish the quest out by talking to her, but I want to see if I can get to the arena, put the dagger I have on the altar, then run back here and grab the other dagger. It's an experiment. We're being experimental. Is the arena is up this way because once you put the uh, the dagger on the altar it starts the uh, the arena quest Start that, then run back before the uh, the excavation resets, and go in. Maybe I can get a second one. This is a three-stage duel, basically. Okay, if I can finish this stage of the the fight. <clears throat> Cuz I believe by starting this, I removed the I removed the item from my inventory. didn't I? <laughs> okay. If I can go and get the other... Uh, dagger. The idea being that I can upgrade them both and get a dagger and a longsword. Or whatever type of weapon the, uh, the sword version is. They may be exclusive, but they're different types of items, so I think you can have both. And as a barbarian, dual wielding is not beyond the class capabilities. Ah, uh, of course they hit me. And both of my melee weapons are toast. <laughs> okay, so what I need to do is get into the dungeon while it's still active and loot that last chest. No! Fine. Fine! Alright, so what I'll have to do is... Is 
there an axe in here? <laughs> it's like, nope. Okay, now without repeating that quest, I can go back to the other guy. This should get me the uh, central quest. Then I'm gonna go need repair need to repair my uh, weapons. I hit too many rust monsters with them. Any more to do? Savira. So, okay, this gets me the central excavation. Make sure I start this. All right, now I'm going to have to sacrifice my NPC cleric because I need to repair my uh, weapons before I do anything else. Both of my two handed axes are busted, so. <laughs> Yoink. Hello there. Uh, I am slowly permanently damaging all of my uh, weapons. Okay. Now, let's uh, get a, the next cleric up. You're higher level than the previous cleric. And let's go back to the arena and finish out the arena. I should be able to... Knock me off my horse. That's what you get for knocking a guy off his horse. Okay. Try to stay away from the rust monsters myself. Let my cleric fight the rust monsters.
Okay, one last challenge. This one has beholders in it. <laughs> oh, beholder. Take that. They could severely, they could really kill you. Uh, those negative levels add up. Uh, seven negative levels? One more negative level and I die. Yeah, he, he hit me with a negative level and that was it. Fortunately, they don't despawn and the uh, challenge is still going. I just have to come back. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll just go to House Fjarlun. I guess you can't go directly to the Threnal ruins from the airship. Beholders are dirty cheaters. Level drain is a very cheesy way of defeating someone. It's like, oh, I give you eight negative levels, you're level eight, you're dead. <laughs> So I just have to get back there and defeat four creatures, and the Grandmaster Challenge will be complete. And I'll get a nice little sword out of it. I hope it's not an exotic weapon. You know, something that a barbarian can just use. Hit me with four negative levels right off the bat. That's half my level gone. Okay, now it's it is a uh, it is a one-handed weapon, so it's going to go in my one-handed uh, weapon set. Along with the shield. Okay. So 
So there we go. Now I have a decent one-handed weapon. I had been hoping to get uh, two of those, but I guess I can't. When I go through on Elite on the East Excavation again, I'll get another um, another uh, dagger, and I could upgrade that to a second war blade. Though I better make sure. Longsword one-handed, it is not unique. The daggers are unique, but apparently once you upgrade them to the weapon, they're no longer... Because uh, uh, you'll notice it has two slots, which is not bad. A red and a red-blue, which is a purple slot, but there are no purple enhancements as far as... Uh, are there? I don't know. Uh, but uh, red slots are things like, uh, you know, additional damage dice and things. <coughs> so you can really uh, stack these uh, with some nice bonuses. In my case, I have to uh, find them <coughs> in chests. Since I don't, uh, I'm not pay to win. Wow. Still three negative levels. Depressing. I don't want to go in there with three negative levels. Eh, might as well. <clears throat> the missing expedition. This is the final uh, quest line. See, I don't have any really nice feats to go with the, uh... <laughs> One-handed weapon, but... a randomly placed chest in these tunnels that has a silver key in it. All right, there's a beholder up here.
Okay, it's, it's fine with me if he just sits there and takes it. <laughs> I don't feel like having the chance of getting like seven negative levels by going and fighting it directly. Have the NPC go and fight it. <laughs> Alright, so we took out the Beholder. Okay, it looks like <coughs> Well, we've cleared to the door, but no key. So the question is, where is the key? This one is randomly placed. Somewhere in these tunnels. There should just be a chest lying in a corner somewhere. I'm just going to have to go through the tunnels until I find it. This is a different door. There's the chest. We found it. Uh, 
All right, so we just need to work our way back. That's the Beholder Tunnel. So this one should lead us to the drop downs for the ruins. There's the first one. Okay, we've got the key, or the first key anyway. This is the quest that me and Guaca were doing yesterday. Or was it the day before? Anyway, we were working our way through this one. He had to go home, or rather, he said his, his wife was home and was giving him the evil eye. about playing games instead of uh, attending to his husbandly duties or uh, something like that. Probably, it was probably dinner time and she was annoyed. <laughs> Oops. I hit the wrong button. Don't want to destroy my weapons, so I'm going to stay back as long as there's a pudding up there. Well, the answer to that question, Fergus, is no, none of us can disarm a trap. We can, however, avoid walking on it. <laughs> At least most of us can. Can you avoid walking on it, Fergus? drop from a gargoyle, chipped bone talisman. <clears throat> In any case, uh, last time we were doing this, uh, Guaca had to go. Wife was giving him the evil eye. And, uh, because we had not found the second key yet, which turned, uh, uh, we had looked around, I hadn't realized it's actually right here. Uh, we had gotten this far, but... Yes, 
since the, the key we were looking for was right here in this chest. He had to go, so I had him uh, leave his character logged into the mission. Well, I uh, died several times trying to kill those three ice flensers solo as a monk. Monks are, monks are not as powerful as barbarians. Uh, <laughs> my barbarian could do it quite easily, as you noticed there. My monk had to come back like three times. <laughs> Or four times, or five times, or... I had to re-enter the mission six times, because I died. It's like, why did they put fake chests here? I mean, we can actually reach them. Locked chest, I could understand, but fake chests? That's just to make people step on the collapsing floor. Guess they figured no one would figure out how to get across that. Okay, and this was the door we couldn't open. I completed the quest for him. Denieth. Denise. And you can't get through this door this time. You have to come back. And that's when I logged off last time. We got his, uh, his mission completion done, so his character should be ready to do the next quest. Okay, and then in I go. Entering the chamber, and you have to work your way all the way back in. Except this time, the gates are open, so you don't have to find a key. You just need to fight your way through. And the beholder's back. The beholder's back. I will sit back and plink the beholder to death.
mud is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> Bet that's the gold key. No, that's the silver key. Do we even need the silver key? you do need the silver key. You do need the silver key. Plink, plink, plink. It's like, yes, there's a trap in that grate. And this grate. And there's a black pudding waiting to destroy my weapons. broken. <laughs> okay, so we need the jeweled key. Seriously? <coughs> that hasn't fooled anyone on their second and subsequent runs through this dungeon. <laughs> it only fools people the first time they encounter it, and then they say, oh, yeah, 
Fall away floor, huh? Okay, so... Come on, move faster than that pudding, will ya? I want you to get far enough ahead that I won't hit the pudding with my axe. Well, no gold key there. Digging away at that durability. Let's uh, switch axes. Since that one's a fire axe, and most of these guys are immune to fire anyway, or at least highly resistant.
fire. So let's <coughs> let's use the uh, non-fire axe as our primary weapon going through here. Two negative levels. Where did I get negative levels? I don't remember. Maybe when we fought that beholder way back, I got a whole bunch, and I'm down to two. Just never noticed it. Just let the cleric fight the puddings. See, if I'd hit puddings as often as that guy's hit puddings, my weapon would be dead. But his weapon, being an NPC, is uh, apparently immune to that sort of thing.
Okay, we got to find the levers scattered around this <coughs> area. is low on mana. Oops. I hit the bad year blimp. I guess I am beyond his aggro range. I will happily sit here and shoot him to death. Yikes. I'm betting one of those chests has the gold key we're looking for. All right, we have the gold key. We just need to get back to It's like, 
Hey, are you uh, evil coil? Dark coil? I'll, before I talk to you, I'm going to go get the shrine. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need healing in the next room. Urgus, did you walk over the fire trap? Like the obvious fire trap in the middle of the floor. fire trap this time. I mean, seriously, that, that's sort of an obviously lit up fire trap there. Is there anything interesting in the water, I wonder? Probably not. All right, here's the final step, the gate chamber. It's a pretty short mission, actually. I just wonder what would happen if you were dumb enough to actually go in there. I don't <laughs> it's not accessible. Okay. <laughs> it's like, why, hello there. It's like a portal to Zoriat. Yes, going through a portal to Zoriat is a bad thing. Okay. And then, now that I've done the central excavation, I should be able to go back to the guy who gave us the quest in the first place, and he will give me the reward. All right. Mantle of the World Shaper. There we go. Now that I have the Mantle of the World Shaper, <laughs> I can get rid of my other... Uh, Most of my other cloaks. I mean, I'll keep the uh, the levitation cloak, but the mantle is going to be my primary, secondary. <laughs> Actually, I'm usually going to be wearing the, the the mantle. 
Not only does it absorb up to five spells per rest, it also uh, gives you a one point per minute of regeneration, which is enough to stabilize you if you don't uh, uh, mess it up. Okay, so I think I'll end it here for now. I need to go and eat something. It's getting to be around lunchtime, so um, I may come on later today. I may not. It all depends on my mood and uh, what I'm doing. <laughs> so you guys have a great uh, rest of your day, and we shall talk to you later.